If you were taught anything about evolution during high school, you might remember references to a last universal common ancestor, the hypothetical single-celled organism ancestral to every living being on this planet. There's way more to it than I can reasonably explain in this video, but the short version is all life on Earth, extinct or still living, is very likely descended from the same single-celled organism. Thanks to slow, gradual, and heritable genetic changes over billions and billions of years, Earth now has the diversity of life it does, and scientists can predict the existence of the last universal common ancestor using basic similarities between all living things, like how all of us have DNA as our genetic material. This idea of a common ancestor also applies on every level of taxonomy. You know, domain, kingdom, phylum, etc., etc. You probably learned about it at least in part in middle school biology. Different members of the same distinct taxonomic level, like the genus Phalis for cats, are descended from a now extinct common ancestor, a species that had many of the traits distinct to that specific taxonomic level. It's the same deal for our species and our closest living relatives, which are chimpanzees. Some millions of years ago, a now extinct species with traits that we share with chimpanzees roamed somewhere in what is now Africa, and the slow-moving genetic changes that followed gave rise to chimpanzees on one side and on the other, the entire human lineage, from Australopithecines and the species we don't even know about to you, the person watching this video. And I think that's awesome. If you learned something new today, be sure to like, comment, share, and do whatever else to help the algorithm get me out there. And if you want to see more fun videos about humanity's past, be sure to check out my page.